Hi everyone, this is Mr. No. Today I want to show you a project from NVIDIA which they have partnered with Shutterstock. Shutterstock is a library of, they have a library of thousands of millions of videos and images. So the NVIDIA data model has been trained to this model uh, and see if you see here they have trained on NVIDIA Edify using Shutterstock's licensed creative libraries to create this tool where you can put in any image you can upload any image and it will turn into a 3d model so here if you see uh, there is one 2d image that has been put now that has been turned into a 3d model by ai so if you see here this is that 3d model it's a 2d image has been converted into a completely 3d image that can be used in various projects you can download in uh, two formats that is given here you can download in glb format usdz format so now you if you want to make any changes you can make those changes also this is the negative prompt that has been put here now you can choose um, some of the other images so if you say uh, text 3d so a cowboy hat with a sheriff badge so let me change that to something like a tesla cyber truck and see what it will generate so these are the negative prompts that has been put in so let's see what this is the so series zero let's see generate preview so now 50 requests are there out of that 49 is remaining because i have used one so it is saying inf inference fail with error sorry the code rail system is providing the request with the submitted prompt please change the prompt and try again so this negative prompt may not be required a tesla cyber truck vehicle let's see okay let's see once more now it has used my one one more credit So it is generating the image or I should say uh, the 3D model from text to 3D. So it's, it's taking some time, it's not that fast as I thought. So AI models generate responses and output based on complex algorithm and machine learning techniques. And those responses or outputs may be inaccurate, harmful, biased or Indecent. By testing this model, you assume the risk of any harm caused by any response or output of the model. Please do not upload any confidential information also has been put there. So let's look at some of the examples that it's saying. I think uh, Tesla Cybertruck may not be a good thing. So let me put something simple. A photo of an apple with a bite in it. Okay, let's see. A photo of an apple with a bite in it. So this is based on the example prompt it's given. There's something which I am doing wrong with the other prompts. That's why I didn't generate. So, so this is that apple with a bite. So this is text to 3D. Now if I look at uh, image to 3D, you should see better results. So let's choose some of the other images that is there. Let's take this Lego model for example. Let it load. So I selected that image. Now on the output you should see it has a 3D model. Here I can set the face count target. Let me say generate preview. So based on this image, it should generate next set. 3d model of it which i can use it as a 3d model in various scene settings in various projects so currently it is generating it so it has potential so i think it is in its nascent stage so now you see this it is being uh, so generate 3d okay so it is just giving a preview if i say generate 3d this could take a couple of minutes to generate it is what it's saying so just giving a preview of it how it will look like 
Now, in a couple of minutes, it will give me the final 3D model. So this has a lot of potential. So if you are into architecture, you are into design, if you just put a, a two-dimensional image, then that can be easily be converted into a, a 3D model, which adds a lot of value. So now let's look at what it comes up with. So maybe I'll open one more tab of it so that I can work parallelly on one more prompt texture 3D while that loads. So it is generating it. So a cowboy hat with a sherry patch. So let me look at more examples. Polar bear. Very important polar bear. Very important dog dressed up in a suit walking to work. So I just made a minor change in this prompt. So I think this should also work. So let's see. If this doesn't work, then there is a problem in this tool, I would say. Let's see, generate preview. Okay, this is taking a more time. So now it's generating a preview for this. Okay, so it worked. Uh, it has created a preview. So it works. So let's generate a 3D out of it then and see how it looks like. This is again taking time. So here you can change the face count of it. That is the target number of faces to reach after the retop. So here you can put the negative prompts, the things um, negative prompt to use for generation. The negative prompts describe what should not be present in the output generation. Okay, so this is the 3D model finally it has come up with. So let's compare it. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, this is how it looks from the back. Yeah, it is pretty much close to what image I have given it. I've given just a friend view of it. Based on that, it had made all those estimation and created that 3D. Normally when we, in CAD drawings and all, when we try to draw uh, a 3D model in tools like NX or Solid Edge, we need multiple images, side view, friend view, top view, to create those 3D models. Now, just from the friend view of it, it has estimated or anticipated how it will look from back, top, then generated the 3D model, which is what it makes incredible. So now if you look at this, it's generating a dog. So here when I say a very important dog, it has its own understanding of how a dog looks in three dimensions. So based on that, it has generated it based on the prompt also. So if you see uh, the prompt of a, the dog dressed up in a suit is the prompt that I give, walking to work. So let this one also generate an image. Meanwhile, we'll just look at what are the other um, Example images that they have given. Okay, this is a skull. This is a gun. This is a car, I suppose. So I think they had just put in simple images for now. But they, you can use this model. So this one model overview. This is the model that is called large scale diffusion model. They are given the references, model architecture input output so nvidia believes in trustworthy ai is a shared responsibility okay so let's look at this okay so now it has generated the 3d model of a dog also this looks pretty good i would say Okay, let me look at it 
and some of the 3d models if you want something specific is difficult to find and you have to pay to get those 3d models but now you can actually come here and put the prompt or if you, you can just draw in a diagram and upload it then create a 3d model out of it how cool is that and you get i think 50 uh, credits or 50 requests i don't know how frequently it is updated maybe uh, um, based on a certain duration so i hope this information is useful thank you very much subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update